Founded in 1985 by brothers Irve and Eric Kane, and taking their name from Eric's childhood nickname, Titus has created and published numerous games for systems varying from the Amiga all the way up to the GameCube. Now, some of you may be wondering if they've actually made any good games, and surprisingly enough, yes they have. In fact, they made this one game that I loved playing as a kid, but I had no idea they made it up until I started working on this LP. Lamborghini American Challenge. The game was amazing. Except for that one time. That one time I lost a race so badly the game freaked out and then suddenly started playing the ending credits. Over the years, Titus has been in charge of porting games to different consoles with varying degrees of success. The few games they've made in-house range from good, to eh, to, well, Superman. The last game they made before going bankrupt in 2005 was Robocop for the Xbox, which some people say is actually a worse game than Superman 64. That's kind of impressive. So where are the Kane brothers now? They're still around, and they're still running a company. You might have heard of it. It's called Interplay. You know, that company that published Fallout, Earthworm Jim, and all those other great games? They're currently working on the Fallout MMO, along with some ports of classic games like MDK2 to WiiWare. Look, I know that Titus made a couple of bad games, but I don't think they deserve the unbridled hatred they get all the time. I mean, it's not like they made a second Superman game, right? Then there's no time to waste. More rings in a Sonic game! It's Superman 64's second ride stage. Let's get to it. This is the last ride stage we're going to be doing at normal speed. Now the reason for that is, as I mentioned in the first ride stage video, things get a little different this time around. So we run the full gauntlet of what the ring stages are going to be like. After that I'm going to start running them at double speed, maybe triple speed glance over them. There'll still be the ring counters though, because I know some people are really curious about that, for some reason. Thankfully, uh, I played through this room again, this stage again, and I had forgotten. This is actually, there's like three sets of difficulties for the challenges. This is the second, so this is the second group. There's actually going to be a bunch of different ones than what we saw last time. I thought that was the majority of them in the first video. Not actually the case. Also, I'll make a comment right now. I may have made the first ring stage look easy to do. Not gonna happen with this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> this ring stage, right here is the main example why. They started moving. They've gotten sentient. Now this is the easiest moving pattern. They're gonna get a lot harder a lot later and we'll get straight to that in a few minutes. Now, I hope you also don't get motion sick. Because I think the spazzing out of Superman is probably going to force that on you. Okay, so this is one of the new challenges. We have enemies in midair. we got to grab and throw away so they explode. Problem is, we have such a huge area to cover, we actually have to pan out to see where they are. It's a cool concept otherwise, but it's very easy to miss these guys. Or get stuck in a building. Get out of the building. Thank you. Thankfully, they gave us three minutes for the first one. Later on, they gave us about a minute. And just throwing them kills them. They just blow up in midair. Where's that last one? If I wanted to, I could just take the minutes, the time to run around and fly around the world. Not a good idea, because... In this case, I don't believe there's any survivors that he can hit. In later missions, there are humans on the ground, and if he hits them, I immediately fail. And as you can imagine, that happens more often than I'd like to admit. Okay, so the rings are being nice at first, starting off solitary, then they start shifting around again. They'll, always, they'll go in this pattern. There's four different patterns, maybe, we're going to see in this video. The last one probably being the most amusing, and the most what the hell. So where we start seeing the developers getting a little lazy, and just putting the rings in a row. Though saying the developers got lazy for this game, 
kind of an understatement. So we got the slow movings that require... See, for those of you who said, Oh man, I don't know how you got through that first stage. It looked really hard or I could never do it. Imagine trying doing these now with them shifting around a lot. Like, I know they're slow now, but they speed up. And I know I may be forcing this point a lot, but the point still stands. It's going to get ridiculous later on. And besides the random moving rings, there's going to be no variation for the next three or four ride stages. I think the sixth ride, maybe the fifth, is where they start throwing in different things. And the seventh one... Oh, man, the seventh one. When we get to that one, going to love it. Okay, I wonder if this is the point I can show you guys where they start getting stupid with the rings. You notice they're clipping through water, they're clipping through the bridges. They will also, at some point, clip through the ground. I think this ring will let me show it off. Yes! You can physically miss the rings, period! That's why they have the flashing lights on top of them, so you can see them if they sink into the ground. Later on, they sink so far in the ground, you can't even see the flashing lights. So you will on purpose miss a ring, because they felt like being total dicks. God bless you, you insane French company. And your stupid other Superman game, which we'll get to later. Okay, here's where the rings start going in circles. Running the full spirograph pattern here now. It's fantastic. So already in this ring section, we've had a lot of time. But give it a minute, and it'll take a little longer. That took about, what, I think it was 4.30 it said on the clock, and now I can hear the gunshot saying I'm at the end. So that took three minutes. Wait for the next ring section. And I already warned you earlier, they eventually give you 10 minutes for these things. Okay, we've got to protect our skateboarder. And how do we do that? By running over people. This is probably the easiest challenge, for the most part, out of this gambit. This little, this little ride stage. However, if you're... Once again, it's a case of if you're not careful, you will screw it up. Thankfully, these guys go down without a hitch hit them but these two up here have rockets and they do a lot of damage and they're superman seeking they're not heat seeking they're superman seeking so there we go that's everyone but i have to wait for that skateboarder guy to reach the goal so let's go on a tour let's see what happens if we keep flying straight up straight up <laughs> that son of a bitch You can't touch the skateboarder at all. Well, you can walk into him, but don't, like, hit him or try to pick him up, because that will immediately make you fail. And I don't want to do another ring section again. So I guess we'll take the little time we have left to go explore the vast ocean of Metropolis. Where the hell are all the ground, all the buildings? Okay. So this is Metropolis. Apparently uh, Aquaman hangs out here. No, there's the, there's the water. Fog under the water. Believable. I guess, except for those triangles. Oh. You can see the walls. <laughs> you can see the boundaries of Metropolis. Is that kid seriously not there yet? What the heck? I, I severely hope I do not have to go back and find that kid, because I, I think I've gotten lost. Oh, I'm definitely lost. This may have been a bad idea. See, he takes a while to get there, but um, I'm pretty sure he should have been done by now. I think, come on, where are you? You gotta be here somewhere. Why does this entire area look the same? Also, I'm pretty sure I just went in a circle. I certainly did. Damn it. Wait, here we go, I think. Nope. It's, it's around here somewhere. I'm not going 
gotta see the key. I'm I'm totally gonna fail. Fuck you, Superman. Seriously, just fuck you. <laughs> ah! That's what I get for getting cocky.